Welcome to this installment of the Excite Pro tutorial series. As you've already discovered, all the wonderful themes provided by Excite Pro mean that anyone, even those with no design ability, can create an amazing looking site in minutes. But for others, the template can be merely a great jumping off point, a platform that can be tweaked to make the site design perfectly fit the site's product or service offering. For example, say you love a particular template, but aren't fond of the fonts, color scheme, or position of the navigation menu. Those, and every other aspect of your page layout, can be readily changed. Here's how. In Excite Pro, click on the Page Layout tab. A sample page will appear, complete with header, side panels, etc. As you can probably tell, this site is a customized version of a carefully designed template. But it's possible to tweak all these visuals, and in this tutorial, you're going to learn how. Here's a breakdown of your various panels. Everything is controlled by the panel listing you see here. First off, you've got your header here, followed by the info bar, where you can obviously place much of the site's navigation. It's also a good place for sticking your breadcrumb trail if desired. You've got your left panel, also a usual suspect for housing navigational elements, and your right panel. These panels are also great for placing ad banners, affiliate links, newsletter sign-up forms, small RSS feeds, or a site search form. You'll also have a page footer at the bottom, which is good for copyright info, contact information, and yes, more navigational links. And you've got special settings for the page margins, excellent for including a lovely background image that's a lot more interesting than white space. The great thing is that, once placed, the elements in these panels will appear on every page in your site, so there's no need to replicate this content across pages. Now, let's talk about the part of the page that does change on a page-by-page -page basis, namely the main panel. You can use the page layout to set up defaults in terms of background color and font information, though this can obviously change with each individual page you design. You've also got a header and footer. For the main panel. And these are quite handy for links you'd like to see part of every page, such as the print this page and bookmark this page widgets, as well as any social bookmarking links. Please see their corresponding tutorials for more information about these elements. Okay, so now that we've effectively dissected our page, let us change a few things on the site. The header is custom designed to fit this template, and it's fine as is. But let's at least change the alt text to something more appropriate. Now, the info bar contains general housekeeping links like contact us and privacy, but I think the info bar is too prominent a place for them. I'll just click to remove the links. I could get rid of the info bar entirely, but I actually like what it adds aesthetically, so I'll keep it. So, on to the left panel. I really like the menu here for the most part, but I'd like for my links to sport a hover color, just to give a bit of visual feedback when the user mouses over an item. Keep in mind that there's a whole separate tutorial on creating eye-popping navigational menus in Excite Pro, and I strongly encourage you to check it out. Oh, that's lovely. Also, I'm going to add a site search box to the panel. I just click the designer button, and now I can add any HTML element to the panel that I want. I won't go through the entire process here, but if you'd like to add a search box to your site, please refer to its corresponding tutorial. Now, I'll opt to include a main panel header because I want to see a breadcrumb trail for my page, which it's kind enough to insert automatically. We'll leave the main panel and main panel footer alone for now, and there's really no right panel to speak of in this template. Let's go down to the page footer. We can enable the menu, thus including the general business pages we struck from the info bar. It's a better place for it. Additionally, let us turn again to the designer and add a copyright notice. 
As for the page margin image, I think the one I have might be a little too busy. So let's swap it out for a more neutral image. Preview again. And yes, much better. As you can see, the image layout panels provide a means of tweaking every conceivable variable in your site's appearance. I strongly encourage you to adjust its many settings to get just the look you want.